Okay, well, it's, it's been a few weeks since we've um, touched the thinner TDI project, <clears throat> primarily because I'm waiting on a power steering box to come in from the UK that was ordered on September 4th. It's now the very end of September, I believe it's the 29th today, and I have no power steering box. So um, while I nicked a brake line on this and I got to redo the brake line up the front, I undid the steering as well, and I also undid the engine. It's just been kind of a let's wait till we have everything and we'll get back at it. But uh, it's not here yet, <clears throat> so we're going to get going on those other two things. The new radiator has come in, so that's an easy swap out. And from Silicone Intake Systems, we have the plumbing. So I'm going to get going on uh, at least routing the plumbing system, setting the radiator and uh, intercooler, and we'll get things situated a little bit more up front here. I'm also priming and painting the interior of the um, <clears throat> battery box for us to get the battery going back in there. So at the end of the day, I will reroute a lot of the electrical back to where it's supposed to be in the new location. So we'll get cranking on that now. Okay, so an update on what we're trying to do here. I've got, I'm, I'm actually pleased with the clearance that I'm gonna have for the AC for, <clears throat> The line that's going to run down to feed the intercooler and i have used one of the new silicones down here and i'm, I'm playing down here you can see with uh, some original lines that do have some kinks that'll have to be modified see if i can get those kinks out of it i've got one real bad one right there but i found a path where i've got good clearance um i'm redoing this because everything sits higher which means i'm going to abandon the original line <clears throat> I'm looking at the original intercooler set up here and trying to get it, um, see if there's a way that I can route it uh, down. And so I'm just playing with that right now. So um, the current idea is to bring air intake up here because everything sits so low. I've got plenty of room to come around and get something for an intake in the wing or just put something right here. Of course, I've got a hose that comes here for the heater. So this is gonna be <clears throat> a very well orchestrated little corner here and um, the way we're doing it. So I'll continue to push on and see what we end up with. All right, well, let's take a look at where we're at. And as you can tell, I'm a little bit crooked here. This is not mounted yet. We're gonna get it squared away and mounted nice and square here shortly. But for dry fitting, we're close enough to be all right with this. So <clears throat> I've got some silicone pipe here and I've got my um, aluminum uh, hard pipe in between. I've got to make the beads with my Jabberdo tool. So basically I'm going to be creating beads like this on each pipe with a tool called a Jabberdo. And, but I've got my dry fits in and I like this, there's no kink. <clears throat> From the underside, I need to get here and up and over to the turbo area. And granted, I'm not in love with my coolant lines yet. I still have a kink here, but I haven't done any work on that yet. Um, but I come up nicely. I've got a small piece of aluminum pipe, about maybe three inches long in there. And I'm currently using an original piece of rubber to make the 90. It's a little bit large, so I'll have to Get another piece on order but i've i've justified that i can make this turn and comes down nice and clean and i'm really liking the amount of clearance that i have between the air conditioning system because that actually is where the hc system is going to sit i've got to get the rubber gasket pushed back in um there's that <clears throat> now with regards to cold air intake our current plan is that we we're going to come this way and maybe get something underneath this wing <clears throat> because I have an intake uh, for left-hand wing available. And I would just cut it in here and it would look somewhat factory. But uh, at the same time, I can just come straight up here and tie into that. I don't like the way that looks and I'm gonna fight really hard to not stay that way. And of course I have to connect in my other hose here because our original air intake had uh, the following setup. But we are a long way in the right direction. One of the things we're gonna do is we're making our own uh, beads on the pipe and you can maybe just barely make out a um, rise here that's forming. And what I've got here is this 
jabber dual tool and it is in my vise. You can certainly mount it and make life easier for you, but I've just got it here in a vise temporarily. And what we're just going to do is we're going to set it in. The gray part goes to the outside. And we're just going to get in here. Sorry, I was setting that up wrong. Uh, and we're just going to get in here and kind of make just real small bites and come around and get ourselves a nice bead for the strap and the rubber to give us a good seal. Okay, well we've used our jobber do tool and we have made our beads for our pipes. We've got some nice clamps. And I've got enough hose here in this order. I would like to have one more 90. So when I show you this order, just know that you may very well want to add one more 90 to the order. I'm going to temporarily use um, this old rubber. But if you want to know specifically what we ordered to get into this design, there you go. SiliconIntakes.com. So what I'm going to do now is <clears throat> attach the bottom of the intercooler and then we'll work our way up with this small pipe to make the turn with the 90 to come back in and get attached down here. I did cut this 90 a little bit close, but I'll make this to where we can see up in there. So as long as I get on there, you'll notice I've got good purchase and I'm not obstructing with the flow. And as long as I get the strap on there good, I think we'll be in great shape. And I like the clearance again that I get right here off of my AC line that is resto modded into this solution as well. All right, well, for the purposes of today's video, we'll we'll stop here. And this is the, kind of the first time we get a chance. I got my the bottom of my um, radiator uh, <clears throat> bulkhead is rotten. So YRM Solutions, um, or actually Paddock Spares, uh, has these two. But um, I now have the bottom, and we get our first chance to see how this is all going to neatly tuck in here, roughly in that line right there we can see coming up and so of course the, um, <clears throat> the full radiator grill will go on here I've been able to get the AC line plumbed to where I don't have a conflict here and I'm not rubbing I've got a full um, bit of clearance down here too so I like that <clears throat> I went with the original uh, little bracket that the pipe had here and so we'll get that attached at some point we have a nice little dance here with these pipes coming around and I only really have this one kink here in my lines <clears throat> I've been able to get the other side assembled and you can tell I'm slightly cattywampus here it's just because I don't have this mounted yet this is all being dry fed this side is really clean we're looking at the idea of bringing up the air intake and coming around here because it gives me the opportunity to stay connected to the original fitting and then work out my air intake over here um, or we'll just figure that out, but I've, I've got lots of room to play, and I like it.